Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma rabbi sya'li sadri wa sarri li amri ahli al-udati min lisani yafqaw qali. I am Rizwan Alvi, Assistant Professor at Government Premier College No. 1. Commercial Geography, second year. Uh, this presentation is the course orientation and paper pattern for the student of second year. The agenda of this presentation is course introduction, course outline, paper pattern and marks distribution. That is very important for to understand for every student to getting more marks in their exam. Exam preparation topic. This is also a very important part of that presentation because the exam is about to be held in the month of May. So students should need the topics that are that are being covered in colleges and be covered in their exams. Finally, we have a summary. So course introduction. Let let's start from the course introduction. The commercial geography has the extensive course outline content that comprises of two sections. Section number one, the geography of world. The geography of world and it has two parts. Part one, definition of commercial geography and their responses to different environment. The paper come from that area as well. Part two, world distribution and their resources. Then we have part two. The second section is the geography of Pakistan section. Before I start the course content, it is necessary to define geography and understand what geography is. So there is a basic definition of geography. Geography is the study of earth and the environment and the commercial geography is the branch of geography that study earth and its relation to man and its activities. In a simpler manner, this is the study of earth and its resources, how resources are distributed over the globe and how people are moving from one place to another place. It also tells us about the trade that being happened in different part of the country on different part of the continent as well. So, course outline, commercial geography part two. Here is the course outline of first section. As we already know that the geography content covers two sections, world section and geography of Pakistan. So here is the world section, part one. Definition of commercial activities and their responses to different environment. This is a part one where the exam will be held in your examination paper. So commercial activities and in its type. This is a very important topic. And um, the first topic of our course will be commercial activities and its type. Second is the study of primary activities. And there, there is, of, of course, when we're talking about the commercial activity and their types. So the first activity that man can perform over the earth when he was a homo sapien is the primary activity. Then we have a secondary activity. These are activities related to the match manufacturing se sectors. Then we have a population growth, its distribution, globally trend and effect on various commercial activity. Here we uh, learn about the interrelationship of choices of commercial activities because those people, those are living in the tropical region and those who are living in Antarctic region have different climatic conditions and different physiographic characteristics. So the, the, the choice of the activities also depend on the area or area location, their temperature, their uh, environment, whether it's a biotic environment or biotic environment, then impact of the latest technology on existing commercial activities and the resultant trends. So part two, world resource and their distribution. Geography is basically the science of spatial distribution. How resources are located and how these resources are distributed over the globe. So in that part, we will study the topic of the distribution and their pattern. So agriculture resources with a special emphasis on food resources, as you know that there are two types of crops, cash crop and food crop. Here we're more talking about the food crop. The commercial, the, the factor, agriculture resources. Here we study the geographic factors, economic factor, and the distribution of agriculture resources. These are the few crops that are included in our uh, course, in our curriculum of second year. Then we have a mineral resource in their estimate, mineral resource in time, as we know that there are two types of mineral resources, metallic and non-metallic minerals and their distribution. The most important mineral there we are studying our course is iron, ore, gold, and uranium. And the end of the uh, whole section, we have energy resources in their application. This is a very extensive uh, topic of energy resources because we can uh, study here the 
nature of the resources, whether there is renewable resource or a non-renewable resource. Not even this, we are also talking about the hydro resources that hydroelectricity or thermal power, thermal energy. We are talking about uh, the wind power, wind energy and so on and so forth. Finally, we have a human resource and their utilization. Occupation types and their utilization of the humans. So this is the part of our world section. Now then we have a uh, Pakistan section. First, location and physical environment of Pakistan. Here we learn about the geographic location of Pakistan, physical features of, of Pakistan, like mountains, river, plateau, deserts, there are climatic and non-natural non vegetation regions. Then we have, and the soil and irrigation system, types of irrigation and soil in Pakistan has the most primitive type of irrigation system and consists of big network of canals, dams and barrages. So we can study these things in in that topic. Resources and their exploration, agriculture commodities, here we once again comes with the agriculture activity. This topic has been covered in previous world section as well, where we prolong that section and cover these topic. Then we have a population involvement op uh, options for various commercial activities, its impact on national, regional and international trade, migration of population, in migration and out migration and their impact on a society, population distribution. And all we have different areas uh, around the globe where is low population, moderate population and densely population. So we can study over there and their economic activities because activities, economic activities is totally related to men where we have large population. We have very complex uh, morphology of the activity. We have a very complex metaphor of the city uh, that we studied in this uh, part of the course. But these two topics should be covered with the world section as well. Logistic for the transfer of various resources. So road, railway, airways and waterways. Then finally, we have a priority and identity of the commercial of Pakistan. The question comes from this topic last year, food and oxy is the main topic where the question comes, technology and application various field of commercial activities. So this is a very crisp introduction about the course content. Comes to the paper pattern. When it comes to the paper, paper pattern, the paper has 75 total marks and the duration of the paper is three hours, okay? so. We have three sections, A, B, and C section in our paper. A section is about 15 marks and it has multiple choice questions. It covers all the course, all the topics that's come from the world as well as come from the Pakistan. It covers all the topics and a student should need to practice lots of short answers and lots of MCQs from their books. Then we have a section B. Section B is a short answer question session section and it carries 36 marks each answer carries four marks in this section the world section and Pakistan section again are segregated and one answer equal to four marks world section you have a student have to run five out of eight question and it carries 20 marks while Pakistan section answer any four out of seven questions and it carries 16 marks. The total of that 20 and 60 is 36 marks of their section B that are very important, very easy. A student can get lots of number from section 1 and section 2 because they are pinpoint answer. They are a straightforward answer and a student get easily carry 100 marks from it. Then we have a section C. Detailed answer questions is a long answer questions is a descriptive answer question and the total marks of that section is 624 in which world section has 16 marks and Pakistan section has only eight marks in world section four questions are given in your examination paper and you have to attempt only two questions while as in Pakistan section you have two or three questions and you have attempt only one question of carrying eight marks whether it's a short note or maybe is a is a complete eight marks descriptive questions so this is uh, about the examination section their marks distribution and their paper pattern. Exam preparation topic, they are very important topic and every student should complete this topic from where obviously. I also telling that from where they complete that topic and in, in later lectures, I will complete all the topics that I am going to show in this presentation. Number one, world section. So commercial activities, fishing, agriculture in fishing, 
we have a fishing topic and there's a question comes from the fishing farming and types of farming that is a very important part so here we can manage three questions in these two uh, world topics then we have a uh, iron steel industry and cotton textiles is a very primitive way to do one industry at a time like iron steel industry or cotton textile industry is depend on the year and the topic uh, uh, that being to come in your examination then interrelationship of choices commercial activity impact on technology on existing commercial activities and the resultant trends uh, one question may become from that part as well then we have a comma geographic factors economic factor and the distribution of agricultural resources here we have a wheat rice cotton rubber and tea so any question come from that part of uh, area as well so how many they have topics one two three four five and last one the topic number six energy resource their application types of energy resources coal iron ore and gold so these are the world section topics and it covers about eight major topic and you have to only uh, do two question in eight uh, in eight out of eight questions so if you complete this topic the notes of that topic if you uh, write the notes of that topic if you manage to prime the notes creaming the notes of that topic and inshallah you will get good marks in your world section as well so then we have a pakistan section is a very simple you have to just give a single answer for carrying eight marks and you have one two three four areas where you getting the questions number one geographic location and physical features these topic also cover the short answers as well so climate and vegetation then irrigation system these three topic are very important and among these three one would be in your examination paper migration of population population distribution that is another uh, uh, topic that also very important you get the one question in your examination as well then we have a road railway airways and waterways finally food autopsy food autopsy sometimes comes in a short answers or sometimes it would be in a short note in section uh, you may say c of pakistan technology is application various field of commercial activity is a very general uh, open ended question comes for the student and student can write on the basis of their knowledge and their understanding about the uh, technology and field of application in commercial activities uh, commercial activities now everyone knows today's world the most important your most emerging commercial activity is the social engineering everyone is connect to the internet and working at home and working at any place remote place where they uh, earn their livelihood as well finally then exam preparation resources as we know that last government premier college lecture obviously i'll give lecture in their college and most of them getting benefit from that lecture as well notes provided during classes five year paper solution that you have been done in college so these are the exam preparation resources and you are feel free to contact me if you find any difficulty any strain to prepare your examination so in last summary summary of the topic course introduction we think a course introduction and then we have a course outline a descriptive a very short comprehensive outline for the second year commercial geography paper pattern and marks distribution and finally exam preparation topics so that is all about for today the lecture number 2 would be on commercial activities and its type it will be posted as earlier so you can contact me anytime thank you very much allah hafiz